Hey folks, in this video we have a treat for you. I am showing you my buddy Michael reeling in this huge wahoo. On the same day this wahoo was caught, we prepared it all to have the fillets ready for grilling on the outside grill. Watch the entire video. It is that good. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go. here one is about three inches thick and two inches thick so I'm going to cut steaks into this cook it on my outside grill at 350 for about three minutes on each side so you just slice your wahoo whatever size steaks you like and we have it skin on on one side and we're going to cook it skin on the skin on side and then we're going to take the skin off when we flip it Now we're gonna spice our steaks with my favorite zoo seasoning. And we're gonna put it on the meat, not the skin side. I'm gonna flip it over and spice it again. These Wahoo steaks look great. So we're spicing just the meat side we're gonna warm it up on the grill and pull the skin off when the fish is cooked on one side. And nice and warm and it's easy to pull off the skin. Now I've spiced all the sides of the meat. My grill is heating up outside on 350 and we're gonna cook it for two minutes on each, three minutes on each side. Cook it for three minutes on each side. So waho can be cooked at sushi, it can be cooked rare, however you like it. I like to eat mine medium and that's why I'm cooking it on the grill at 350 for three minutes on each side. So right before I put my fish on the grill, after I put my spice on it, I want to put a little olive oil on each side just so that it won't stick to my grill. So I'm pouring a little olive oil in a, in a container here. Then I'm going to brush it on my fish. Just brushing it on my fish. Without removing the seasoning. Actually, it's holding the seasoning in. Since the steaks are very thick, I wouldn't cook it on aluminum foil because I don't have, I don't, I'm not worried about it coming apart. Remember the skin we're gonna take off as it cooks. And then when I take off my skin, I'm gonna re-season the meat that doesn't have the seat. So now my grill's at 350 and I'm gonna put on the steaks. Put on skin side. On my two inch thick steaks. And my three inch thick steaks, I'll put them on the meat side. And we're gonna cook for three minutes on each side. My fish is cooked for three minutes and now I'm gonna flip it. Time to take the skin. 
skin off because the skin is tougher than the snapper that I took last time. And we just scrape it right off without taking out the fish. any temperature but I prefer to cook it medium fish that I took my skin off because they were my thinner fillets I want to re-season them my thicker fillets were cut sideways and I had barely any skin on the side so I'm leaving that skin on so we cooked our fish now pull it a piece off we're going to cut it Perfect. Once it's flaky, breaks apart easily. You taste it. That is a delicious wahoo.